What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're going to take a look at the iOS 11 as it has been finally uh, released by Apple yesterday and it's finally here for the general public. And we're going to also um, see whether you should update or not if you're interested in jailbreaking. The iOS 11 has been in beta for quite a while and most of you already know most of the features in here and you probably know about the you know customizable control center in here where you have these platters that you can customize and that you can um, you know make bigger and so on and uh, you probably also know about the files application so i'm not going to uh, to do a proper review of these features because you already know about them and you probably don't even care you're probably here for jailbreaking info anyways so let's discuss about the ios 11 itself well we know that for the moment iOS 11 has been jailbroken only once back when it was in beta by KinLab and uh, you know it's very possible that their jailbreak by now has been patched by Apple even if KinLab never released that jailbreak in the first place because the exploit itself might have been you know uh, found by Apple and of course killed in the final version. So in my opinion for the moment if you want to jailbreak your device your best bet would be to stay on iOS 10.x. Now of course if you're interested in the new features, the new wallpapers and so on you can definitely go ahead and update to iOS 11, especially if you don't care about jailbreaking or if you don't want to jailbreak your device anymore. Now, amongst the features, there is the new App Store, and you probably remember it from the beta. Again, there haven't been major changes on the release compared to the final betas, so uh, you probably already know the features, but the App Store looks completely different. And as you can see from here, it it is cleaner, I mean, yeah, we can definitely say it's cleaner and it looks definitely different compared to the um, the App Store that you used to have on the iOS 10 or the iOS 9. Now, taking a look on the application itself, you know, you have the uh, editor's choice, you have some video going on in there that apparently is out of playing and you have the ratings and so on. Let's uh, press this little button here to see what happens. Ah, uh, well, you can actually share it, which is quite nice. Then you have the app section and your normal updates and search. Well, it's pretty interesting. I mean, yes, I really like the new design. The App Store logo definitely looks bad in my opinion. I mean, it used to have um, some meaning to it. It used to be, you know, some developer tools in there, like a ruler and uh, a pencil and so on. Nowadays, it's just a couple bars that resemble, vaguely resemble an A from the App Store. Well, the iTunes Store has also been uh, changed, has also been revamped, and you probably remember it as well from the beta. But uh, the most important part is that now you have a file manager. Switching in here, you have the files application. It has been in here since the betas. And uh, you can sign on into your um, iCloud account and that's pretty much what you can do with it. And you have the locations in here. Some of them have, um, have been um, removed and some of them are still available. You can see the iCloud in here but you do not have the OS X server anymore in here for some reason. You have the recently deleted and uh, yeah, you have these tags in here, which pretty much resemble the finder from the uh, Mac OS. Well, it's quite neat, but it's nowhere close to the uh, files or iFile from the jailbroken devices. Moving on, we have the calculator application, which again has been completely revamped. You can see we do have the, you know, classic iOS colors being used but the buttons are now completely round and they uh, they used to be of course square shaped so yeah it's a pretty interesting change in here that I do not really think it was necessary the old calculator application definitely looked uh, good and it was usable enough I mean uh, they they should have focused a little bit more on other features than redesigning the calculator app you can see the contact has also a new icon in here, which, yeah, definitely looks nice in my opinion. The notification center, though, has been changed completely. And you can see that uh, your notification center is pretty much the lock screen. And it even says press home to open, which is exactly your launch screen. It's no longer separated. It's exactly the launch screen here. And you can see you have the clock, you have the date, and it says no older notifications. Let's press home and we are in here. So once you do this, it's like just locking your phone, but without turning off the screen, it's something like that. 
The uh, widget section is pretty interesting. You have the files widget in here, which has been um, added and it pretty much helps you manage the, um, the files quicker and yeah, it's expected from the files application anyways. Well, speaking about this uh, wallpapers in here, the wallpaper I'm rocking now is pretty much a stock wallpaper from the iOS 11 and um, if you don't know about them, let me try to show them, but they have been leaked ahead of time when you know the uh, the GM version, the Gold Master version of iOS 11 has been leaked a couple days prior to the um, official release. So people already know about the wallpapers that came out in the final version. And uh, going in here, you can see we do not get any new dynamics. You can see there are still the old ones in here, but on the stills you have the planet Earth, then you have the moon and you have the uh, image that has been used for the beta on iOS 11. And then you have the iOS 10 and iOS 9 official images. And pretty much that's it. You move on to the uh, the new series in here, which are pretty nice. Don't get me wrong. They're, they're definitely interesting. I think these are uh, some of the best images, uh, some of the best wallpapers Apple has implemented in iOS since a very long time. And then you have the normal blue, silver, pink, uh, space gray and so on wallpapers, depending on what kind of device you're using. In my case, it's an iPod touch. And so I have these, uh, you know, dot shaped wallpapers in here. These remained unchanged. And you have these rainbows in here and so on. So yes, on the uh, wallpaper side, the wallpapers definitely do look nice. Well, uh, let's talk more about this uh, this new control center because this is pretty much the main attraction of the iOS 11. Um, as I say, these uh, platters in here are customizable. You can uh, actually make them bigger, smaller, and uh, if you press and hold on them, you can actually get a bigger view of them so that you can control them better. Anyways, it's it's pretty interesting, but you can actually change what's in there. And one of the biggest changes in iOS 11 that was definitely not expected is the built-in screen recorder. So let's try to activate it and you can uh, actually do that by going to the uh, control center in here. So control center and customize controls and we need to find the um, a screen recorder. So going ahead in here, screen recorder, and it should be there. So let's take a look. There you go. So yeah, you have the screen recorder, you're able to record with or without the microphone, and the recording is being saved on your photos application with no problem. So no need for third party apps to do that. And um, yeah, this is pretty much interesting since no third party recording tool has ever been created for iOS inside the App Store because Apple used to ban all screen recorders from the App Store. I don't know why. So yeah, pretty interesting. Now you have one that is built in on your device. So yeah, these are, uh, you know, the main changes in iOS 11. There are a lot of settings as well. You know, the settings application is pretty revamped. You have you have more things in here. For example, these notifications in here, uh, finish your settings and stuff like that. Some icons have changed and Siri has changed a bit and so on. But you already know this feature is from the beta. As you know about the status bar that received some new icons and so on. Is it worth updating? Well, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you're interested in these new features that are present in here and you definitely want them, then yes, I mean, you can actually update to iOS 11, especially if you do not care about jailbreaking at all. But if you really want to jailbreak, then iOS 11 might not be jailbroken for quite a while. And the only known jailbreak for the iOS 11 betas is the one from the King Lab, which of course it's not public and might have been patched during the betas. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my review of the iOS 11 and uh, what I think about it. It definitely looks nice, but it's definitely not something I would update for. Thanks for watching guys. Till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.